Here we see we're given an equation that gives us velocity. A velocity at time t is given by 2 times t. And again, this is in miles per hour and, uh, and t is in hours. And what it wants us to do here is find the exact distance we traveled between 0 and 10 hours. And so again, we, we can plug in points. You know, if we plug in 0, we'll find out that we're traveling at 0 miles per hour at 0 hours. We could plug in 10 to find it out at 10 hours. We're traveling 20 miles per hour. But we need kind of a special technique to get the distance we traveled. And so what we've practiced so far is using tables and using graphs to go from rate of change, which is velocity, to total, total change, which in this case is distance. And so here, when it asks us, the key word in this problem is exact distance. And so really we only have one method of finding exact total rates of total changes um, at this section, and that's by using the exact area underneath the curve. The table is an approximation, um, and counting squares underneath the graph is an approximation, but finding shapes is exact. So let's graph this out, and it's actually not too bad to graph this out. If v of t equals 2t, we have something like this, if you excuse that my lines aren't exactly straight. So we'd have at 0, our velocity is 0, and then it goes up at a slope of 2, right? So it goes up something like this, and we can label it if we want to. We could label this as um, 10 hours, and here at 10 hours, our output is 20 miles per hour. And so if we want to find the exact distance we traveled, remember we're finding the area underneath this curve. And so we want to find this area that I'm kind of shading in right now, right? And so what shape is this? Well, this is a triangle, right? So my area, area one is going to be one half times my base times my height. And in this case, my base is 10 hours, and my height is 20 miles per hour. And I could even write it a little bit better. I could write it in miles over hours. And we'll see that when we multiply this out, the hours cancel out, and we do indeed get that we traveled 1 half times 10 times 20, which is 100 miles. And so the thing I want you to get from here is we have a few methods of approximating total change from rates of change. But when this problem, when it says this word exact, what we need to do is we need to find areas underneath the curve using shapes, using exact methods.